Hi, welcome back to Plant-Based Way of Life. I'm excited that you're here today because I have a really cool recipe that's that's easy and it'll save you money and when you're, when you're in a pinch and you forgot to buy milk at the store, you can use what you have at home and make some milk, some nut milk. Today I'm gonna make some almond milk and it's really, really simple and nutritious. If you see these almonds right here, it's about a cup. I soak them all night. And uh, why do I soak them? Well, to re release the phytic enzyme from them, phytic enzyme, which makes them more digestible and more nutritious and bioavailable to your body. So let's say we soak them all night in some fresh water in a jar. That's all you need to do. And then when you take them out, you're gonna rinse them like that, simply just to get excess enzymes out of there to release that phytic enzyme. Okay, then we're going to put them in the blender. See, you always run out of milk, you can make your own almond milk. Now you can use other nuts too. I mean, I've used walnuts, I've used Brazil nuts, I've used, um, let's see, what else, cashews as well. But my favorite is the, the almond. And that's usually very popular what you get at the store. Now I gotta find my cup. Where'd my cup go? Da 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 da. Oh boy. Where's my measuring cup? Okay. Did I tell you guys I'm visually impaired? And I just came off doing a show of cooking without looking. So sometimes it's hard to see in the kitchen, so just bear with me. For one cup of almonds, you're going to add approximately four cups of water. And this is my purified, you can use pur purified or spring water. Three and four. Oops, we're short a little bit. Let's use some of this. Nope, let's go over here and get it. Okay. Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> okay, so that's four cups of water. And what I want to add to that, and this is optional, let me tell you the things you can add to your almond milk. You can add maple syrup, you can add vanilla, you can add even a little sugar or stevia or, or salt. I like to add a little bit of salt. I'm going to put about a pinch of salt in there. We try not to use salt in our diet every day, even though you're allowed like 1,500 milligrams. We don't even get that in a day as we try not to eat processed foods. Okay, let me turn the Vitamix on. for about 30 seconds. You know how I put the almonds in here whole, I didn't take off the skins. Some people take off the skins and why, you know, why take off the skins? Because you're gonna waste, you're gonna waste them unless you're gonna use them in another recipe. I've done that before where I've used the almond skins and like skins in like a cookie recipe. But this way I left the skins on for more nutrition, a little bit more fiber. You guys know, right, that uh, almonds are full of calcium. It's a great drink to have before bed, help you sleep. So I go ahead and strain it very simply. I don't use a cheesecloth or anything. I'm just using this plastic container with the strainer that I have. I'm gonna strain it a couple times. I like to take a spoon and just kinda move it around so it goes through. You hear that luscious, Milk, it's nice and white. Looks just like the kind you buy at the store. But I think it's new, more nutritious and less expensive. I mean, you can make a lot more with this than you can buying at the store. And it's always good to have a hack because when you run out, you don't have to worry about having milk for the kids' cereal in the morning. See all that? Now that I usually save and I'll put it in a recipe for cookies. 
You never want to throw anything out. Oh, I think I splattered it on me. <laughs> Got a little ambitious there. Okay, that's, that's going to be yummy. But you know what we want to do is I'm going to save this in a container. Let me just put it in a bowl for now. Save the excess almonds. Ooh, it's like a creamy oatmeal or something. I'm even eating it like this, you know, added some maple syrup. It makes a really yummy cereal. Okay, so now I'm gonna strain it again, make sure to get the pieces out. So you want, you don't want it to be grainy, because then I know little kids might say, oh, mommy, it's grainy, I don't like that. Even the adults would say that, trust me. Okay, well, let's do it again. Pour it in here. Strain it one more time. Look at that luscious almond milk. So nutritious. No preservatives. Love it, love it, love it. Dripping on out. Add a little more to this. We're going to set this almond pieces aside, and you got your milk. Now we're ready to pour it into your containers. Always use a glass container. So much better than using the plastic and getting those um, estrogens in there. And use a funnel. There you go. Mmm, oh, that's going to be nice. You know what's better is once it's refrigerated, and it's nice and cold. Yum. That's what's it's gonna be good eating, good drinking. Hey, I even mix this with Kahlua. Have you ever mixed almond milk with Kahlua? It is really good. Okay, let's see, is that pretty full, guys? Yeah, I think so. All right, that's about it. I'm gonna put the excess in here. And, oh, I need my. Let's try it in the, in the cup. I'm gonna try some of this. Okay. Just seal it up. Look at that luscious almond milk. Now this could last you a week. I mean, you could put it in a, about eight cereal bowls probably. Let's taste this. Mmm. Mmm. That is really creamy and yummy and very nutritious. So I hope you'll try this recipe, or you want to call it a hack or a recipe, for almond milk made with real almonds. I mean, who knew? Thanks for joining us again on Plant-Based Way of Life, and we'll see you soon. Take care and stay healthy.